Hey guys, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Um, as you know, I used to have MPP solar gear. Uh, the main reason that I bought it was that for my business, um, we do remote area telecommunications. So I needed to be certain that um, the gear would would uh, be reliable. Unfortunately, it wasn't. So um, we've changed to Victron um, gear. So here I've got my Multi Plus 48 volt 5000 VA or 70 amp um, Victron Energy Blue Power Inverter on the right and uh, I've got two of these blue solar chargers um, they're really excellent uh, they've been they've both been extremely reliable so at the moment we're in bulk um, this is down in my what I call the solar donger which is uh, what Americans call a connex or a small office <clears throat> Uh, basically, the good thing about the uh, Victron Energy gear is that you can interface it. It uses TTL logic, um, and you can basically interrogate it for data. So um, down here we've got um, we've got the uh, I've got an Arduino. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, I value function over form. And basically that Arduino talks to my two blue solar uh, charge controllers and also uh, Victron Energy BMV700 battery monitor. And that battery monitor basically has a shunt on it and it um, tells you, it keeps track of state of charge amongst other things. So that is interfaced to this little Arduino. The Arduino has got an Ethernet shield on it. So basically what the Arduino does is sits there and constantly interrogates uh, all three devices and then sends back via the internet um, to my monitoring software, which is based on something called Emon CMS, which is an open source monitoring software. Um, I hope this is relatively clear, but uh, here you can see we've got... Um, monitoring happening here so I've got office temperature battery state of charge battery voltage battery watts in or out battery amps in or out and uh, the charge curve and also consumed watts and generated watts so these are over time and we'll have a look at the charge curve here the great thing about him on CMS is, you, as, you can, as you can see, you can select certain areas. So the blue there is the current going into the batteries, and the yellow is the battery voltage. Uh, yeah, if I want to, if I want to look at say uh, my power generation today, so that's two days ago, that's yesterday, this is today. I want to zoom in and see how it's done today. So you can get a lot of granularity there. Um, you can zoom right in even to a matter of minutes. As well as that, uh, I've made another dashboard that's specifically for mobile phones. Um, so here you can see I've got solar in, battery basically uh, wattage that's being stored in the battery at the moment this is all live uh, and um, what the house is using or the office is using at the moment the values are pretty small because uh, we're quite shaded here so in winter i've got three kilowatts of panels but in winter it goes down to you know half a kilowatt generation or something like that uh, down the bottom here i've got generated today battery voltage consumed today State of charge, temperature, neat little icons there, and zoom into there. So yeah, that's just a bit of an overview of the monitoring system that I've set up. Uh, it's pretty nifty, basically. Uh, as I said, this particular one's designed for the mobile phone, so when I'm out, I can... I've just basically got an icon on, on the desktop of my phone and uh, I can monitor it. Okay, guys.
Hope you enjoyed the update. Ciao.